the seat. So with no question, our districts will all just enlarge. Do you think Charlie Rangel should step down? I believe that Charlie Rangel, like everybody else in America, the Constitution should have his day in court. I must tell you that I, I and I said this to the speaker, uh, we don't really know what goes on in the ethics committee. They make no reports to us. We don't talk to them about it. They, nothing is ever said uh, between members in the ethics committee. But to make this man wait for two years and spend $2 million, uh, I mean, I, it just seems to me uh, in a land where we really prize a speedy trial that, uh, that has gone on way too long. You must be disturbed by the allegations. He's uh, actually, the, of course I'm disturbed by the allegations. I've lived my whole life a different way. And, uh, I, you know, there's gone this long without any glimpses, which I credit my father, <laughs> who made it very clear to me when I was young. Uh, keep your integrity. Don't have to ever try to get it back. How do you feel about the way Mr. Randall's handled this so far? He took the point personal privilege the other day, which I think uh, uh, was his absolute right. Any member can do that, and many members have, so it wasn't that unusual what he did. But I think he spoke from the frustration that now he has to wait uh, until everybody gets back into session. Do you feel that like he's making some sort of a negative impact on the Democratic Party? You know, you look at that. That's not the issue here. Justice is the issue. So, I mean, so be it if it does. I mean, it's. Uh, but it wouldn't feel the same way if it was somebody on the on the Republican side. They deserve justice. Is what we do. If the, if the Congress of the United States does not uphold those laws and the Constitution, who's going to? Yesterday, MVP Healthcare.